Risk assessments. How do you make them easy? I know. Hi, I'm Mike from Scardelic and come on, spice up your scouting this year, do something different and subscribe to the channel. Free to do so and you've got games, activities, you name it, it's on there. But this month was all about safety and my amazing co-host, Gareth, showed us a really cool activity that you can do about risk assessments but also make it fun. So here's how we go. Obviously this month is all about safety. So what are we going to do today? What, or what have you got um, like sort of planned for us? Well, first of all, I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat just about um, safety itself and, and what, in terms of scouting, that encompasses. Yeah. Um, and likewise, what it doesn't encompass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, sure. uh, And uh, from that perspective, uh, and then I thought we'd have a little bit of a go and activity, if you don't mind, if you're willing for that. I'm uh, all up for any activity or any anything that I can do, sir. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> it's one that works very well with both young people, uh, explorer scout kind of age, older scouts, um, and indeed with adults. I, I guess for me the first thing is really uh, there's some stuff which we have to do. In okay. Scouting. Um, which you know we have no option but to do, uh, either because it's the law of the UK or because actually it's a sensible thing to do when we've got the care of young people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and for me, as a trustee, everything we do is, is about the health and safety of young people. We all know the yellow card. Yep. Okay, uh, and its importance and, and, and the way it sets things out for us as a, as a code of conduct. Um, there's an orange card for Explore Scout Young Leaders. And then we've got a, a raft of other cards, which are for leaders. There's a grey card, there's, oh, you name a colour, purple card. <laughs> they're all there. Um, and they're all part of that safety and managing and structuring things to the there. Again, if we may, put some links down there. Um, encourage people to go look. Uh, but it's all about just getting that safety right. To help us do that, there's a number of things we, we can do, uh, and there's a long list of safety around illnesses of young people and adults, safeguarding, digital safety, oh, activities, bullying, uh, this list can go on. Mm, yeah. And actually, yeah, but there's a nice little structured way that we can do that, all of us do that. Um, and as I mentioned uh, in the 60 Second Scouting, uh, there is a, a piece there which is we do it all the time as individuals. So, you know, yeah, I do joke about um, that, you know, I'll, I'll get out of bed in the morning and, and be, uh, before I put my foot down, let's risk a, you know, I don't know. Has, has the floor fallen away and there's a hole there? I don't want to drop down this big hole, you know. No, especially when you've got, obviously, uh, grandchildren, is there a Lego piece on the floor? That's the, that's <laughs> the bigger thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we're risk assessing all the time. Um, what we don't often do, of course, is write it down. And I, I guess it's important to say that that has now become a requirement. Yes. Um, and the other thing that uh, is an absolute requirement, of course, is the safeguarding side of, of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, there's no ifs, no buts. <laughs> that's, that's all part of safety, but it's, it's looking after young people. And, um, you know, if, if we any doubt, uh, it's a talk with your district commissioner, your group scout leader, or indeed, um, talk to Gilwell either via the website or or, or, or on the phone. Yeah. Um, but uh, no doubt in that one, that is absolute. Um, and there's a very well known and, and well trod path and procedure for that. Mm. How about having a little bit of an activity, Mike? Do you think you could have a go? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm eager and awaiting now. I have myself. <laughs> A clipboard Ooh, yay. with some paper because I was like, well, you know, if I'm doing, I'm doing uh, like health and safety, there's got to be a guy with a clipboard somewhere, you <laughs> know. That's it. What, what we're looking at is um, any any kind of um, event or activity or anything we're going to do, even in our meeting hall or or whatever. We're, we're going to have a look around, recognise the risk, okay, evaluate that risk, mm -hmm. put them in some kind of order. Yeah. Highest to lowest, lowest to highest, whichever you individually are most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. 
and then find a way that we're going to measure that. That could be one to five, one to three, one to... So long as you are consistent in your approach on everything okay. that you then do following on, it doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. And what we've not done historically, of course, is document that. Right, okay. So I'd like us to think about, and this is an activity that you can do with, with, with um, older scouts, explorer scouts, but think about taking a small group of scouts canoeing oh okay all right uh, and there's a whole raft of risks involved in that raft of risks oh that's a water pun right there <laughs> <laughs> it's about my one and only water joke <laughs> you just you just um, dipped your toe in the water that's what you did <laughs> so there's there's a table that, which I'd like you to draw. All oh, right, okay. I knew I knew this clipboard and this uh, paper would come in handy at some point. So I'm drawing. Uh, I'm drawing a big grid. Where, so where, um, it, it's it's a large box that you can fill that page with if you like. And inside that box, you're going to have four columns. Four columns. Okay, I can do that. Four columns. Yes. Boom. Now then, somewhere along the the top bit, just put a, li a little way down draw one line across uh, yep and the first one was step one okay identify hazard for identify then we've got the second box along yeah who is at risk now quite often you hear the word mitigation or, or mitigate involved with with uh, risk assessments and stuff what it really means is the measures you can take to lessen the risk so okay you know, particularly if you're dealing with young people, it's often better to say something like measures to take or reduce risk or that kind of thing, as opposed to mitigate the risk. I put reduce risk. That, that works very well. And then finally, mm -hmm. review. Voila, there we go. We said we'd think about that, that canoeing activity. Yeah. Um, so if you were to identify some risks in there, water okay. becomes a hazard. That's true. So that's so that would go. So water is a hazard. So that would go in identifying water is our hazard. Yeah. Yeah. And this and is just a example. So water. Yeah. Blue. Hey. So who's at risk? That would. Um, so obviously um, we're doing the activity. So it's going to be not only young people but also if the adults are getting involved. Absolutely. Adults. Yeah. So we need to obviously put the young people and adult volunteers. You're getting this very well, aren't you? So, um... It's not my first risk assessment. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about the... What is it you could take to reduce the risk? What could we do to help reduce that risk? Um, I would think, so. you know, if you've got someone who maybe isn't great at swimming, you know, like buoyancy, like aids, or especially in canoeing, they have, like, the life jacket type things. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, again, I'd still go back to say, you know, you're right, I think, with the swimming. How many can swim and what's the distance they can swim? Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it, that could be relevant to how far out in the water they go. Okay, so I've put, uh, so I've got here that water is our, our risk. That's, yeah. Uh, who is at risk is young people and any adult volunteers that are obviously there. Uh, reduce the risk, uh, life jacket. Um, Excellent, obviously, swimming experience. So, if someone's got, like you said, more swimming experience, they might be able to go further afield. Whereas anyone who's maybe not so great at swimming, if they stay obviously closer to the, I don't know where, wherever you are, you know, you're starting from, at least then a leader that's on dry land might be able to help out and so on and so forth. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, and also for me, there's something in there about the use of instructors and other adults. Okay. Yeah, so, so you know, by, by using canoeing instructors, how many do we need? Yeah. And want, as opposed to, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we can mitigate some of that risk because more instructors that are there, yeah. involved in various ways, so much better. Mm -hmm. um, and again, mentally for me, I think there's something about briefing. Um, okay. Yeah. Briefing both young people and briefing adults. Now review you do at a later point okay. when the activity is actually completed. Right. So would you do that straight after, as in kind of just sit down and be like, right, okay, did, what you know, what happened? Did it go okay? Should, could we have done anything differently? Could we have add, added things? That kind of thing. Is that what? This. This is one of those things where a review needs to be done fairly soon after the event mm -hmm. 
may not be immediately. Okay. But fairly, but fairly soon. Right, okay. With some, with some, we know what it's like in scouting. We're all busy and on to the next thing. So quite often, the only time you have is immediately after. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's, if that's the relevant time, do it then. Right, okay. What you don't do is leave it six, eight, 10, 12, 14 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> if you're doing a meeting hall, mm -hmm. you might find that, that you only need to do that annually. Okay. Yeah, it, it, they're not, it, it's look at what it is and a sensible appraisal. And so long as it's justifiable, mm. why it's that time frame. So, you know, don't forget in the review, there will be a next review date. Another hazard? Yeah, yeah. There we are, injuries to body. And no. then again, you, you now go through the same process as to, you know, okay. uh, uh, what, what um, who is at risk and what, what are you going to take to, what measures are you going to take to rev reduce that risk? And then we, then it continues onward yeah. Uh, yeah. And, okay. until we're, we, we're comfortable. Uh, but interesting, the briefing again came up so that in our briefing, we're now beginning to get a list produced for our briefing. Hey. So we know we know that we need to talk to them about this, talk to them about that, and yeah, yeah I think that's that's a that's a brilliant like sort of thing to do. A couple of times I've run this, or more than a couple actually, the uh, number of times I've run this with with young people, mm -hmm. um, uh, the young leader training weekend, say when we're we're, we're doing one of their modules, mm -hmm. what they see as risks, quite often as adults we haven't. Oh uh, right, okay. So it's quite eye-opening that you suddenly see that from their perspective where they see the risk as well as what we're seeing. Um, so it, it's, it's often very good um, in, in that safety environment now that they're up to speak to just let them go and see. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, Mike, just to, to point out to you is that's a very simple, nice and easy form to use. You grasped it very quickly. I had a good teacher. It was uh, it was right. weirdly it was weirdly enough way down south, but I still had a good teacher. <laughs> um, the form which we are advised to use mm -hmm. um, looks remarkably similar to that from the Scout okay. Association. All right, okay. Um, and it's downloadable. If you could put the link down yeah, there, yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah, absolutely yeah. smashing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that that actually the words are slightly different. Mm. What hazard have you identified? Well, that's what the hazard is. Yeah. 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 Um, who is at risk? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> How are the risks already controlled? What extra controls are needed? Yeah, that's exactly well, there what we go. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and then finally, it says review and revise. <gasps> if only we had like a fourth box at <laughs> the end here that had, say, possibly review. <laughs> Yeah. There's a couple other details, but basically, yeah. in, in the real sense about safety, that's it. Um, so it, it's all about just maintaining that and keeping it going. The next time you come to uh, do a canoeing event, you'll get out that old risk assessment. Oh, yeah, that, that was relevant. That was relevant. Ah, but, but the um, the cubs said about this, or the uh, um, the parents found that the car parking was 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 bad, or. Mm. Yeah, so that, that wasn't directly with the scout, it, it's around the event, which is all about reducing the risk. Yeah, exactly. Um, That's brilliant. And overriding, besides you know the care of young people, scouting has got to be adventurous in my heart. It has to be fun and it has to be awesome for young people. Um, and it's not about stopping activities. This is about ensuring that we can continue to do them in a safe and caring way. Yeah, the other way you can record some of this stuff, um, you know, we did that nice little box and bit, but it can be if you're an OSM user and you're running an event. All right. There's a tab against the event on OSM called risk assessments. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's that and structure is there already for you to use. There we are. So you can not only do it like a, like a physical thing, um, you know, you can print out um, like sort of the one from Scout Association, but you can then also have that. And then, uh, like you said, you know, you can keep on using that um, after, you know, for the next time that you do that event and review it and see, uh, add bits and pieces uh, where you need to. Uh, but yeah, that's a really cool uh, function for OSM. I didn't even know that that existed. So yeah, cool. Wonderful. Brilliant. That's a fantastic thing. That's really good. I really liked that. If you like that video, then give it a thumbs up and share it around. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye.